um, MDTP at St. Michael's, um, I think it was eight years ago. Uh, I got a flyer in the mail and I thought, oh, this is what I need, something that can help me better communicate with our parents, a student's readiness for the next level of math. And so initially when we started using it eight years ago, it was used simply as a summative assessment at the end of the year and it helped us get a picture of what students know and um, place them into the next uh, level of mathematics. When I meet with parents for parent conferences, I bring up the MDTP testing results on our computer right there during our conference and it's very valuable information. We're not trying to surprise parents, we're trying to educate them and their child to understand where their weaknesses are in mathematics because if we don't fill these gaps they're going to be fighting the battle all the way through in mathematics. I like it because I sort of get to see how I'm doing in math. We get our results back and I usually talk about it with my mom and see how I've been doing and then we sort of go talk about it with the teacher. I like that because then I get to see how I've been doing and see where I can improve. Rather than just a teacher deciding which math class to place a student in, we're actually able to use the MDTP results and show parents in very positive ways areas where their children are strong in math concepts and specific areas where students show some weaknesses or they have some holes. The nice thing about the program is when you run your testing results, it automatically prints up a letter, a nice, very nice parent letter. Um, but it gives a lot of information in that letter. Um, it you know, lists a student's name, it lists all the content strands of mathematics and how their child did on those specific strands. It has fractions, decimals, and percents, um, geometry, graphing, dealing with um, algebraic equations. So it breaks it down very carefully. It lets them know how many questions they've answered correctly, the critical level, and the number of questions that were on the test. For parents, it answers a lot of questions right when they get that letter to find out what class their child is in and understand a little bit why they're in that class. They might have some weaknesses in mathematics that they were not aware of. Yeah, I didn't want to open the letter at first because I was really nervous, but when I opened it, I thought my results were really good, so I was happy. And I learned a lot from the results since like some areas I needed more help in and some I didn't. So I remembered some of the areas so I can ask my teacher about it. My parents think that I did pretty good on the test, but they, because my dad, he was really good at math, he helped me a lot with the areas I, need, I had problems with. We send it to a home and uh, some teachers will want the parent to sign it just to demonstrate that they saw it. They'll set up a goal or an objective for every student the student will have to write what they're going to do in order to meet an objective uh, and they'll spell out generally I'm going to study this strand more and, and they'll assign even, even extra assignments to the students so that they can demonstrate they have met their objective. Yeah, my parents saw it. They thought it was pretty good. It only named a few that I struggled with and it named some that I was great at and didn't need to work on. And it just said to like practice on these more than those. And I stay after school in this one program named Squash, which really helps. They have tutors that help and yeah, they explain everything. Quite often the parents don't understand what that means. So it, the teachers step in then and do more of that that a parent would do at home and doing it more at school. And now we're looking at how we can take some of that information and put it into our advisory class so that they could even the advisory teacher could also be working on those same areas that the student needs support. We know that students can be very diligent and they can do all their homework and they can study really hard for those chapter tests and they can do fairly well maybe you know high B low A in their math class but when we look at their testing results and we know that they really don't understand integers based on their testing results and that's something they will need all the way through algebra, calculus, through every, every math class they're going to take. We need to understand that and address that. I didn't get like, the score I thought I was going to get, so I was kind of disappointed at that. But looking back, like, I met some of the critical levels that I was supposed to do, but not all of them, so I know what I need to work on now. It comes from the college. So I think there's automatic buy-in from students, staff, counselors, and parents. It's not just like an assessment that's being issued out by the teachers. Having that high rigor, that, the belief that that high rigor, that it's a college-going issue, I think motivates the student and staff.